Number nine, Clemson. 12 and a half point favorites. They go to Duke Monday night, 7 p.m. on ESPN. This is the Labor Day special. Garrett, you have been high on the Blue Devils all season long, and you've been down on, or off season long, and you've been down on Clemson. I'll let you lead this off. You're you're really high on what the Blue Devils are going to be able to do at home. You, you feel like this line is kind of offensive. Yeah, I'm actually going to pick Duke to win this one outright. Um, and, and you're right, the line is a little bit offensive. I'm going to go ahead and say that the 12 and a half is insulting to the team that came out of nowhere and, and was my darling. I thought they'd do better uh, than their, what, three and a half win total from last year. So but let's not offend the Duke Blue Devils anymore. Let's put them some respect. Uh, look, when you, when you break down Clemson, uh, I know that everyone's high on them. I know that they've been the pick in the ACC for as long as, you know, the last decade or so has been, and they've deserved it, right? They've been a really strong team. Uh, and they've had a lot going well. Outside of Will Shipley, there's not a piece of the offense that I really trust for Clemson. Uh, I don't trust Cade Klubnik. I haven't seen it yet. He's had great moments, but he's had a lot of really bad moments in the middle of that. And and maybe it's just the fact that he was outmatched as a true freshman. Maybe it was the fact that he didn't quite get the offense yet. And you can say whatever you want to about new offensive coordinator or whatever else. He's still learning a brand new offense in his first year and so he's got two offenses under his belt and two college football seasons for him. Um, and, and so I, I, I don't know. I, I think that that's just a lot for a young quarterback to try to handle. Um, and, and when I really try to break it down and, and think about what do I trust, do I trust his ability with a brand new offense in the first game and making adjustments and not just playing the guys across from you that, that share your locker room versus a blue, a Duke blue devil defense that, you know, I, I think that they're going to be improved this year under Mike Elko. It's going to be a, a better defense than it was last year. He's a defensive-minded head coach. And then you take Riley Leonard, one of the most experienced quarterbacks uh, in, in the country. You have a, a guy who's really talented. He was the leading uh, rushing touchdown quarterback last year. He, he does pretty much all that you need him to do for the Blue Devils. I might get some hate from Clemson fans on this one. I just think Duke's the better team. I picked them to the ACC championship game, and a big part of that was Duke getting past this game with a W at home. I'm going to stick with it. Duke's going to win this game outright. And you can come at me in the comments, Clemson fans. I love it. I love the spicy hot takes this early in the season. I, I'm excited for this one. I've had this one circled on my week one calendar for a really long time. Even before we found out that it was the Monday night opener, I was really excited to see just how this played out because – this early in the season, when you're looking at picking these games, you have to go with what you think you know that you know, right? We we all mm-hmm. think what we know what we know until we see it on the field. And what I think I know that I know is that Duke is a really solid team. But what I'm concerned about is what does Vegas know, right? Because it's not just the slander on this line. Their Vegas win total this year was only six and a half. And I smashed that over um, to pick them as one of my darlings this year. But I'm a little concerned. Like, what does Vegas know to not give Duke the respect that I feel like they deserve? But what I know that I know is that Clemson has really struggled since Trevor Lawrence walked out that door covering against halfway decent teams. And that, for that reason, plus the fact that Cade Klubnik is a game one in this new offense, like you mentioned, Garrett Riley's going to come in. I think the offense is going to be much improved this year. But it's game one jitters. It's game one with this new offensive scheme and a young quarterback against a defensive mastermind head coach in Mike Elko that keeps his team in games. Guys, Duke lost three or four games last year, four games, I think, total. And I think the total point spread in those games was less than 20 points. They don't get blown out in games under Mike Elko. Mike Elko kept his teams in games with his defense at A&M and Notre Dame when he was the defensive coordinator there. He's going to be ready for this Garrett Riley offense. So you give him a whole off season to prepare. I Duke plus 12 and a half seems like about as much of a lock as you can possibly get week one, which probably means Clemson wins by 30. I was going to say the fact that we're all on Duke plus the number here, um, you know, just firm handshakes for, for everybody in Clemson nation. That's, that's celebrating one and oh, um, based off our track record. But I, I will say this, I I'm, High on Duke being able to cover. It's at home. Uh, they've got a great offensive line in front of Riley Leonard, who is the most slept on quarterback in the country. I don't know that he has any difference makers out wide, right? And you could say the very same thing about Clemson. Like, who's the X factor that's going to be catching passes from Clubnick this year? 
I, I don't know that there's a real answer, right? O- outside of Will Shipley running the football, I don't even know that Clemson knows who's that that guy is. It's going to move the needle. Clemson's going to score points. I think Duke will as well. But I trust two things. One, I trust Garrett Riley's ability to make his quarterback comfortable. Uh, And two, I trust Clemson's defense to ultimately get a stop. Clemson has won uh, four of the last five and 10 of the last 11 in this matchup. The last Duke victory was in 2004. So, you know, it's it's not exactly uh, some recent success against Clemson that Duke can point to. Now, new program, new head coach, I get all that. I don't think Duke has the horses to win this game. I think this ends up being kind of a grimy rock fight uh, of a a, a battle in week one, but I do think Clemson will end up pulling out. I just like Duke to lose by 10, 11 points, keep it closer at home and just squeak in that number. Um, But that being said, if you've got Duke winning this game, please write us in, let us know in the comments. Uh, what, what is your temperature on this game? Do you think Clemson runs away? Some of the, the predictions that I r- read when I was researching this have Clemson winning as, by as many as 30. So there are folks out there that think Clemson goes on the road and, and skull drags Duke. Um, if you're one of those people, let us know. If you're a Blue Devil supporter, let us know as well. I just want to say real quick, Garrett's not crazy. Like, Don't be surprised if we end up living in a world where we wake up on Tuesday morning and Duke has beaten Clemson. Garrett, Garrett's not crazy here. That That is in yeah. the realm of possibility. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I'm not crazy because of this. I'm crazy for other reasons, but not because of this. <laughs> <laughs> Gracious, yeah.